All right, hi everybody. It's uh, Dave Zabrowski, CEO of DataCore Software, calling in from Las Vegas, Nevada, at the 100th anniversary of the NAB show. It's been a very exciting show. Uh, we announced a couple of things today. Uh, number one is a new strategic investment focus for us. We announced a new division inside DataCore called Periphery. You can see the names here. Uh, that culminated from several acquisitions we've made uh, in object storage containers, and most recently a company called Object Matrix that happens to be very well known in the M&E space. This show here is an M&E, uh, so we're very excited about that. It's really our focus to bring solutions to the M&E market, particularly in uh, edge and, and cloud applications. Uh, and uh, we also made some product announcements, and I'll turn it over to Abby Day, who's our general manager of the periphery uh, division. Over to you, Avi. Well, it's exciting times here, it's NAB show, the biggest show in the US, of the world maybe, in media. And we are so happy to launch today two products. One is, you can see this product, now probably copying data, media data, transporter, it's called the Periphery Transporter. It's an edge device for integrated media applications. And the second product we are launching today is called the AI Plus product, which is basically looking at media applications and um, taking it to the next step where you can actually do workflow intelligence with artificial intelligence to it. And that's the directional product that we are launching at this uh, conference. So have a great time here and we are so happy to be here. We have a new website. It's called www.perifree.com. That's where we are talking about these products in media that we are offering to the media world. Hi, I'm Alex Grossman with Periphery. Let's talk about Periphery and what's new with Periphery. So Periphery is a new division of Data Core that was specifically designed to focus on the media and entertainment industry. And we're doing that in a big way. So we've been traditionally known for content archive, content preservation, and of course content distribution. But what we've introduced now is workflow intelligence. So with Periphery, we're adding a new component to your workflow, and it's basically workflow intelligence. How do we define workflow intelligence? It's really taking what you love about the cloud, which are services and applications, and bringing them to the edge or in facility. And so with our new product, Periphery Transporter, which is an edge device, and we say edge meaning remote, meaning on set, meaning anywhere, you're able to actually grab content, you're able to keep it 100% encrypted, and then be able to move it into the facility. But the better thing about it is you can run our new product called AI Plus, which will be fully introduced in, in Q4, and you're able to take all those things that you love to do in the cloud, but you had to push content up there and wait for it and pay for it, but now you can take all those cloud services and bring them down onto the edge, so right into the production environment. So if you want to do closed caption, you want to do phonetic translation, you want to basically do any type of AI function. Let's say, for instance, you want to do object recognition. What we're showing over here is true object recognition on the edge. Let's say you have a sponsor. Could be anybody. Could be that keyboard company that's behind me. It's a sponsor. Now you want to identify that sponsor in every single scene. Well, really simple. Build a really simple model or use a very simple model that shows that keyboard, and every time it's identified, you'll get notified. AI takes care of it all, and we do it all on the edge. No reason to have to send it up to cloud, work, work with all the complexities of that, and be able to bring it back and pay those fees. Automatically registered, automatically done, and way more things we can do with AI Plus when it's introduced. This adds to our Adobe plugin panel that we introduced at NEB New York. The Adobe plugin panel gives you a way to literally take a search by, or a browse, by metadata or by product name and be able to enhance that metadata doing it all in Adobe without going out. So basically 80% of what you would get if you were using a media asset manager. And we're taking those capabilities as well and bringing them out of Adobe and making them easy for everyone. So that's, that's what we've been doing. We've been pretty busy with this new periphery division of DataCore.